Um, as a closing thought, I wanted to raise the issue of, um, it's actually a, a title of an interview that uh, Danny Postel did with uh, Fred Halliday, who's a, um, a very impressive uh, scholar on, uh, the middle, uh, on the Middle East. Um, who is responsible? Um, in all of the discussion, it, it's all well and good to sort of invoke um, the slogan that the main enemy is at home. Uh, what has been missing from the discussion is uh, the responsibility of others besides the United States government that the left must oppose equally. Um, meaning, was the Saddam Hussein regime responsible for what happened, what has happened in Iraq? I would say yes. There's also a falsification of the, uh, the, the talk about the violence in Iraq and the occupation. Whether you use the figure from the, Iraqi, uh, from the Iraq uh, body count which I think is at about 150,000, or use the John Hopkins study, which is 650,000, all agree that the vast majority of death and destruction in Iraq has been wreaked by the resistance, not by the United States. What does that mean, then? Uh, starting in 2005, the majority, starting in early 2005, the majority of, of deaths in Iraq have been due to um, either Al-Qaeda in Iraq, um, blowing up um, Shia mosques and marketplaces, um, or recruiting centers. Uh, th you'll get a statistic that will, that will be um, quoted by people that 90% of the attacks in Iraq are on U.S. and coalition forces. Well, coalition forces include the Iraqi government. And a lot of the attacks on the Iraqi government are part of the sectarian violence there. Um, so I don't think that the Iraqi resistance has anything to do with self-determination, anything to do with uh, democracy. And I think that um, it's also somewhat falsifying to say, I think that Nick had used this figure about restraining the U.S. and Iraq, going in with more troops that maybe three million Iraqis would have been killed. I think you have to be realistic about what the goals of the United States and Iraq have been. A slogan from the 11th thesis on Feuerbach is, uh, you know, philosophers have, uh, have hitherto only tried to understand the world, the point is to change it. Well, we might turn that around today and say, the point is not to denounce the world, but to understand it. Meaning that with all of this kind of uh, falsification under the rubric of anti-imperialism, because I think there is serious falsification if you try to say that the majority of violence in Iraq is due to the U.S. because it is not. You could say that the U.S. is responsible for the security situation in Iraq. In other words, there is a U.N. mandate for the U.S. occupation in Iraq where you could say ultimately because the U.S. is the occupying power, they're responsible for what goes on in Iraq. But the U.S. is not setting off bombs in crowded markets and, and mosques. Um, and so it does become a, a rather difficult issue for the left. Uh, and again, to rearticulate, the main enemy is, is at home is all well and good for the American left, as pathetic as it is. It seems like what gets thrown out of the equation is the Iraqi left. In other words, if we actually care about uh, the democratic self-determination of peoples around the world, you can't ignore the fact that in a place like Iraq, um, the left has absolutely no hope if the insurgency and the paramilitary forces that are perpetrating most of the violence succeed in what they're trying to do. Um, it's also false to say that the U.S. has, um, uh, has instigated or perpetuated the, uh, the inter-ethnic violence. The U.S. has actually tacked back and forth between the Shia and the Sunni in order to prevent one side from getting the upper hand. The left has to recognize reality. This is not to apologize for the U.S. But if we're going to oppose the U.S., we have to oppose what the U.S. is actually doing and not call it something that it isn't. The U.S. is not there to just kill Iraqis. That does not mean that I support the United States, but it means I'm clear about what it is I'm opposing and what it would mean to oppose it from the left.